Israel's Iron Dome, the anti-missile system you just heard about, was first deployed in March of 2011. The military claims it has about a 95 percent success rate, but it was pushed to the limit during the early hours of the attack due to the sheer number of rockets fired. CBS's David Martin takes an in-depth look at how it works. Israel says Hamas has launched more than 4,500 rockets, many of them intercepted by the Iron Dome air defense system. It has kept the death toll from going even higher. And today, President Biden promised to send more interceptors manufactured by Raytheon at about $50,000 each. We're surging additional military assistance, including ammunition and interceptors, to replenish Iron Dome. We're going to make sure that Israel does not run out of these critical assets. Iron Dome has been defending Israel against terrorist rockets for more than a decade. It has been um, effective as it typically is in taking a lot of those rockets out of the sky and saving countless lives by doing so. Now, now of course, some rockets have gotten through uh, to, to tragic cost. Because the flight time for a rocket is so short, Iron Dome can operate on automatic. As soon as a rocket launch is detected, an alert goes out telling everyone to run for shelter while Iron Dome launches its interceptors, homing in only on rockets headed toward populated areas. So it doesn't have to fire 4,500 interceptors to shoot down 4,500 rockets? No, a significant fraction of these rockets are not going to hit anything vital. Retired General Frank McKenzie, former commander of U.S. forces in the Middle East, says Hamas doesn't really care where the rockets land. They've got a large stockpile of missiles, and I think we should anticipate the intensity of these attacks to continue for a few days yet. If Hezbollah, which is based in Lebanon on Israel's northern border, unleashes its stockpile of rockets and missiles, Iron Dome could be stretched to its limit. Nora? <clears throat> That is the big concern, David Martin. Thank you.